what up? The Grounded Fan Kid had too much stuff. I couldn't fit it all into one video. And being an artist myself, I personally find the concept art to be some of the best stuff. So let's check it out. Tiny Pirate Style. So this is a lineup of the selected playable characters in the game. Max, Pete, Willow, and my personal favorite, Hoops. I imagine there are actually alternate designs and other characters that didn't make it into the final cut of the game, and those would probably be pretty cool to look at too. Also, in case you were wondering about why Willow and Hoops have additional side view headshots, I think it's so that when this stuff gets sent over to the 3D modeling teams that actually render and create the game resources, they know how to make the longer haired characters look from different angles. It helps to emphasize Hoops' ponytail is to the side, not straight back, and Willow's hair is spiked up like she's some sort of super saiyan. Here's a drawing of two of the buildable water collection utilities. Shrunken pro tip, build them for easy hydration between miniature adventures in the backyard. I also believe that like before, the inclusion of the character design was to help the 3D modeling teams judge the scale of the objects being produced for the in-game resources. One thing I really like about this image are the captions beneath each drawing. It really shows the dedication that the developers put into the game and how much thought went into the creative process during the planning phases. I'm a huge fan of the creative process behind media production and story world building and looking at all this great concept art really helps me be better inspired to develop some of my own stuff. If you guys would be interested in seeing some stuff about my creative process, about how I make stuff for the channel or about how I do some of my artwork, uh, why don't you tweet at me and let me know on Twitter at Tiny Pirate Gamer, and I'll see what I can do. What I really like most about this collection of craftables is the variations of the Ant Helmet in the top right corner. It makes me wish there were a way for us shrunken survivalists to customize our gear. Maybe appearance modifications or different wear options, or maybe even a dye station where we can craft dyes from different resources like Mite Fuzz gives you red dye, Plant Fiber gives you green dye, something like that. And then we use those dyes to I don't know, recolor our armor, weapons, clothes, maybe even hair. And then uh, maybe even your builded craftable base armors, you know, your base walls. You can change the color of your base walls, your roofs, all that sort of stuff. I think that would be really cool. I don't know, if you guys think that would be cool, why don't you let me know down in the comments below? And of course, let the game developers over at Obsidian know too. Whoa, is that really how small I am now? This image really emphasizes the drastic size reduction of our playable characters. Judging by the image, I'd say somewhere between 10 to 15 millimeters in size. Not just small, but tiny. Nothing too special about this one, just the workbench, where you can craft all your cool weapons and armors and some of your repair stuff. But, 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 you know, nothing, nothing too special here just a drawing of it and finally the torn off action figure heads but i've only ever found the blonde one so the other one might just be an alternate design uh, unless it's out there maybe you guys have found it maybe there's two in the yard i don't know i haven't been everywhere it's really big and i'm really small also i have no idea what yoked girth is 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 that something from the in-game universe or is that like another reference to an obsidian or an Xbox property that I am unfamiliar with. You know, like the Battletoad action figure is like a reference to the fact that Battletoads are now owned under the Microsoft banner. Is Yoked Girth something like that? I don't know. Maybe you guys know. Let me know if, if you know. I would appreciate it. Cool, cool, cool. That covers it. That concept art was a lot of fun to look at. I would love to see more put out in the future, or maybe even an art book. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, do me a huge favor and smash that like button. You can also join my tiny crew by subscribing to my channel, and don't forget to ring that little bell so you can always be notified whenever I upload a new video here on Tiny Pirate Gaming. You can also follow me on Twitter at Tiny Pirate Gamer, where I post some of my artwork as well as some fun, grounded themed fiction about my life as the world's first, and as far as I know, only miniaturized gamer. Thanks for watching, and until next time. Arg, matey, watch your step. There be a tiny pirate here.